Hi, Cedar Essentials here. This is a requested video and I was asked to recreate this beautiful 3D wall decor. Now I'm going to make something similar to it and not exactly the way it is. So I'll be starting off with foam boards. I'll be attaching foam boards together with tape. The next thing I'm going to do is make a freehand sketch of how I want the pattern to look like. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. You don't have to think too hard when doing this. Like I said, my pattern and design is going to be a little bit different from what the picture looks like. I'll be drawing a pattern that looks like an electric wave. I drew more of the lines. Now I'm going to make more patterns in the middle. to come out well I would have to add the foam boards just so that the sides can be scanty so I'm gonna cut two pieces of extra boards and attach them to the sides Now that I'm done with that, I'm still going to add more patterns to the middle. The middle needs to be more obvious than the pattern that's by the sides. This is more or less like an abstract art, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to leave this the way it is and make another one that's going to be for the bottom. The 3D wall decor picture that was sent to me was made with either moldings or plaster of Paris. Some people call it just POP. Now I don't have any of these, so I'm going to be using poster boards that I got from Walmart to give me a 3D effect. I'm first going to spray paint it silver and leave the back side and then cut it to strips. I found out that having black at the back of the poster board won't really go with my design. So I spray painted the back white and made sure that every other poster boards that I'll be using for this project will be white. Mm -hmm. 
Now the next thing I'm gonna do is glue the strips following the lines that I had drawn on the foam boards. Out of every step involved in making this 3D wall decor, this one was the most time consuming. So I'll recommend watching a TV show so that that way you can enjoy the work at the same time watching TV. When I was done, I noticed a lot of imperfections. So to cover that up, I'll be using glitter. And then I'm also gonna be using adhesive spray paint to make it easy for me to apply the glitter to the boards. I mean, you can still see some imperfections, but it's not as bad as it was before. I'm using the Gorilla Adhesive Spray Paint because it's what I have, but I'll strongly recommend the Mod Podge Spray Paint. This technique was so easy to do and saved me a lot of time. The work was dry almost immediately because I used an adhesive spray paint. I'll be mounting it on the wall with command strips. I got plaques from the Dollar Tree that I'll be using for the lighting. I'll be gluing this plaque together and cover them up with silver leather fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. I was out of mirrors at home, so I had this leather mirrored fabric at home that I got from Hobby Lobby, so I decided to just use it. All right, this is where it's gonna be attached to the wall, and these are the lightings that I'll be using, and they use a remote. I got this lighting that uses a remote from Walmart, but I will leave a link for something similar to it down in the description box below. I cut strips from a foam board that are 1.5 inches thick and I spray painted them silver and these are going to be attached by the side to act as borders. Now this is how my own design turned out and it's kind of different from the main picture because I wanted it to look different using regular strips that you get from a poster board. Now if you want to get something similar to what you have in the picture, 
you will need like a plaster of Paris, but I still have an idea on how to make something similar to what it's in the picture without a plaster of Paris. And I'm gonna upload that video sometime in the future. And I appreciate you all for your kind words. And I wanna encourage you all to please stay prayerful and let's stick together. And please remember to keep yourself sanitized at all times. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.